Broke is the leading cause of death for Americans. In fact, every 40 seconds, someone will suffer from one. Now, there are two different types of strokes. In one, a blood vessel becomes blocked and the brain becomes deprived of oxygen. And in the other, the brain is flooded with blood from a burst aneurysm. Now, the drug TPA became a lifesaver for the stroke caused by a clot. And now the same doctors who used that drug for the first time in the world are now testing another drug to help save even more lives. Marty Salt has a story. When a person is having a stroke, every minute, every second counts. It's a race against the clock to save brain cells and save lives. Neurologist Joseph Broderick has been running that race for almost 40 years. I arrived at University of Cincinnati in 1987 and we treated the first patient with TPA in the world in 1987. TPA has been very successful at stopping damage in ischemic strokes and now Dr. Broderick is working on a way to stop brain bleeds after a stroke. But there's a good number of them that are going to continue to grow so if we can stop the growth in its tracks we can have an opportunity to improve outcome. Broderick is leading a global study on a drug that has been used for decades to help hemophiliac's blood to clot. Recombinant factor 7A helps stop bleeding in the brain. We looked at people who were within the very early time windows, within the first couple hours after onset, that's when the drug seemed to have its greatest benefit. One way they're getting to patients faster, this mobile stroke unit, where brain images can be taken on the spot and the drug given en route to the hospital. We wanted to make sure we could treat people within two hours. Marty Salt, 16 News Now. Now, Dr. Broderick says due to the time limitations, the trial will also engage in a practice known as exception from informed consent. And that basically means the FDA has given permission to give treatment quickly, even without consent of the patient or family member. The trial will enroll more than 800 patients in 100 cities across the U.S., Japan, Canada and Europe. We'll be right back. Stay with us.